white thorn is typically a deciduous mid-height multi-stem shrub with pairs of white tip thorns. It's possible for some to resemble small trees and it is very commonly found throughout all of West Texas and in a variety of soil types and elevations. Unlike most other acacias, white thorn does indeed have white thorns instead of triangular shaped red claws. White thorn acacia is considered a number three choice browse plant. It provides excellent cover, loafing, and protection for most wildlife species. Because of the sharp thorns, livestock tend not to graze near it, so grass below it can provide excellent nesting and fawning cover. The seeds are excellent forage for quail, turkey, and other small critters. The leaves are twice compounded, meaning that the leaves have leaves, and it appears almost fern-like at first glance. The crude protein content is near 24%. However, Cyanide-forming compounds make this plant very unpalatable to all classes of livestock, exotics, and mule deer. The flower is a showy, round, bright yellow sphere of stamens that produce a sweet smell. The fruit is slender, red, brown, 4 to 5 inch long seed pods with constricted seeds, very similar to honey mesquite beans. Whitethorn is extremely abundant and common throughout West Texas. It offers low quality browse but high quality cover and protection. Prescribed fire can control it with enough available fine fuels and hot wildfires will kill it completely. Chemical or granular herbicides will control it, especially if applied airily, but mechanical control is difficult due to its deep taproot and aggressive soil disturbance required. In flat ground country with quality soils, white thorn acacia should be controlled and limited in order to promote better quality plants. But on rocky slopes or severe hillsides, it should be left alone to provide wildlife with important cover and travel corridors.